Hello, Mark Crossfield here. Today we're going to talk about chipping. So what I want to do today is talk about trying to chip in maybe a slightly different way that I've talked about in the past and certainly how other people might be talking to you about chipping. We're going to talk about trying to hit the ball more with thinking about how the back of the club, so the bounce of the club, reacts with the ground. So, lovely day out here today. Nice chip. Let's get stuck in. So chipping, what we're going to talk about is trying to get you to think a lot more about how your club reacts with the ground. And the part I want you to really start thinking about is this back bit, so the bounce of the club. Really start trying to feel. I want you to get into the habit and the thought process of trying to get the back of the club to bounce on the ground, to use the bounce to help you hit better chips. So what I mean by that is common chipping videos and tips have you thinking more ball back in your stance, hands forward, so leaning the edge in, and then try and hit down and through at the ball. Now what happens with this, unless your strike is perfect, you're going to hit a variations of not very nice shots if you're not careful, because you're leading into the ball with that front leading edge, the sharp bit of the club, where if you hit your chip more in the way we're going to talk about today, you'll find you can hit from a good lie, you can hit from a medium lie, you can also hit from a hideous lie. We're going to do some chips later where we go over onto some really bad lies, and I'll show you how this technique works. So what we're going to do is you're going to set up now, ball more in the middle of your stance, weight pretty 50-50, and I want you to try and start with your hands more level with the ball, so get rid of all this old-fashioned leaning forwards. And I'm just going to hit this chip now, trying to get the back of the club, so the bounce, bouncing on the ground, reacting with the ground in a very neutral way. Let's give it a go, let's show you what I mean. Okay, so I've hit a decent chip there, and you can see hopefully on the camera there, my diver is in this area. So the ball was between these two lines, but my club started reacting with the uh, ground this far back. But because I was using the bounce of the club, what's happened is I haven't dug. I've just swept through and produced a decent chip. So in effect, what's happened is I've created a very neutral strike. I'm not digging for the ball, which can get you in trouble if you haven't got the right bounce on your club for a start, and also if the lie isn't ideal. All I'm doing is sweeping through the grass a lot more. So much more of a neutral hit, so hitting more at the bottom of the arc and using the bounce, the back of the club, to help you hit the chip. Let's do one more. You'll notice from me, I'm actually just putting the ball in the divot I created before, because it actually doesn't make any difference with this shot. It's still just as easy. So again, decent chip, but you can see, I mean, look at my divot here. It's all more behind the ball, but the chip is still going well. So look, it's thinking about trying to hit with a more neutral, so more of a sweeping kind of hit, rather than so much of a digging hit. Trying to feel that you're getting the back end, the bounce of the club, to hit the ground rather than digging in with that lead edge. Now this is my 60 degree wedge. I've only got five degrees of bounce, which is low bounce on this club, which for this shot works perfectly because the bounce is minimal. So it allows me just to brush through the grass and through the turf without digging or over bouncing too much. So look, that's a nice lie. Let's take it onto a really scrubby lie now and show you equally how this shot can produce good shots even when the lie isn't in your favor. So we've come over onto a scrubby lie. I mean, if you have a look at the lie here, they don't get worse than that. So we've got dry mud, basically. Yeah, that's one of the worst lies you can find. So again, I'm gonna play neutral trip, chips, and I'll try not to get this end too far ahead of this end. No digging, try and bounce the back of the club onto the mud to try and play a neutral reaction with the ground to get more of the ball. Let me show you what I mean. So again, ball in the middle, hands not way forward. I'm gonna try and slam the back of the club on the ground to try and play a decent chip. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see here, I mean, look where I've reacted with the ground. No real divot, but I've scraped it from here to here. I didn't even really get much of the ball first. 
So what happens, because that club was using the bounce, the level, the, the low bounce on this club, it wasn't digging, it wasn't bouncing off, it was just staying even. So even from a good lie through to a scrubby lie, I still feel from this and even up to a great lie, I can play a decent shot. So use the bounce, guys. Think about what bounce you've got on your club. I've got a 60 degree here with a low bounce, makes this easier. The more neutral you are with your chipping, I think the more consistent you'll find you are rather than the old fashioned kind of digging style. Hope that helps. This is nothing new. There's loads of videos out there about this. Have a look at them all. See what, it, what you think about them. Post comments down below if you're a digger or a sweeper. Love to hear what you've got to say and we'll speak to you all soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.